Thinking back to the fact that they did on my raps on the best. They sat with the boss. I got two phones, one need a charge. They twins with the trailer and some parts. I got big pets coming on the way. Gator don't play no shit. I don't wanna spit. I wanna go. I wanna gag. I wanna choke. I want you to touch that little dangly thing that's swinging the back of my throat. My Talk a lot of shit to you, talk a lot of shit, talk a lot of shit to you, talk a lot of shit. This is bullshit. Some relationships are like Bluetooth. Only connect when you are near. When you are far, they search for a different device. It's an evil world we live in. I have a question for the man. What the fuck do you want? I'm here for two disease, one terrible full exhaust. We want to fucking you the sobra. <laughs> Nice. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? I'm married. You're married. You're passed out on a stack of blocks. You can't go home with me. I don't want to go home with you. Are you okay? I'm okay. Okay. You loyal. Right. So here we are. The moment of the 2020 lockdown in the Jake's household. Kelly's been doing this puzzle for about three weeks and this is the final moment she gets to put the final piece in. But, or does she? Yeah. I can't believe he's just done that! I don't want peace. I want problems, always! I need a white girl with a nose ring to tell me what planets are making me sad. It's probably Earth. Yup! He ain't lying! Who is better at communication, men or women? Women. Women are better at communication. Like women, for sure. If men are worse at communication, why do so many women expect men to read their body language rather than just be direct? Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know. Are men expected to be mind readers? Yes. Is there a difference between what women say that they want in a relationship and what they actually respond to? Absolutely. If so, how are women better at communication? We're not. But you just said that they were. I lied, clearly. I'm not communicating well, duh. Hey folks, got another one for you. Hope you're doing well. Now we're gonna start off with a clip with one of the women from the previous clip showing just how good a communicator she really is. So anyways, let's get right into it. Welcome to Mankind. Does no always mean no? No always means no. Does, okay, does yes always mean yes? Yes always means yes. It always does? Always. always. If I'm saying yes, I am giving verbal consent yes. Okay. No means no, always. Okay. But, but then what happens if a woman says yes but she's drunk? It just means yes. Listen, <laughs> listen. Gotcha, bitch! Yeah, women don't like to let facts get in the way of them being right, so they'll pull shit out of thin air, they'll make shit up on the spot. They Most of the time, they just want to say women are better in one way or another. So they'll play all kind of mental gymnastics until they arrive at a conclusion, whether or not it's based in reality. And to them, that makes them these great debaters, these great communicators. And to us, it just makes them seem full of shit. If I want to smoke, I will smoke. If I want to drink, I will drink. If I want to go out, I will go out. Because I'm the one that brings the money in this house. I'm the one with the boss in this house. So if I'm gonna go out, you're gonna stay here with the kids. You got that? And that's how it is. Good. That's how I'm gonna tell, that's how I'm gonna tell them what she gets here. You don't have to take shit from anyone. See, we even practice our communication ahead of time. And that's not far off from the truth. Not only that, but we're specialists at non-verbal communication. Check this guy out. Boy, that escalated quickly. Actress Evangeline Lilly has this quote that's now gone viral. Why are we only applauding masculinity in women and villainizing it in men? And why are we only applauding femininity in men and debasing it in women? She's hitting the nail on the head. Nailed it. We love a good masculine woman girl boss. Stick to your post and follow my orders. <laughs> But when men display their masculinity, how dare you? And now when men are feminine, we love it. We're applauding it. We're giving them campaigns. They're sponsored by Maybelline and Nike and Bud Light. And then when women do their normal thing, you know, be mothers and provide, nurture, take care of things, they're looked down upon or referred to as birthing persons, chest feeders, cis women. So when we do the thing that's natural to us and naturally makes us powerful, ugh, who cares about that? But when a man does it, nature. 
So shout out to Evangeline Lilly for awesome. saying that out loud. I fucking love this. I mean, so often you hear celebrities regurgitating the shit they hear on the news about feminist nonsense and the wage gap and stuff like that. This is the first time I've heard anything about men and masculinity being demonized from a major celebrity. I mean, she didn't have to do that. She could have just stuck to the feminist side like most people. But look, people are fucking lost. I want people to be happy and live how they want to live. But the whole gender identity pronouns thing, look, I haven't touched on it yet because this is a new channel and I don't want YouTube to flip out on me just yet, but I'll, I'll get into it at some point. But for now, I'll leave it at this. They came out with a filter that gives you pronouns and I feel like I'm gonna get misgendered, so let's go. <laughs> Man. You are one pathetic loser. Can't stand your wife's friend? Hit on her until your wife hates her too. Be a man. <laughs> the shit's chess, it ain't checkers. The two week old unrefrigerated pie. Don't waste the time. And he lived happily ever after. To the end of his days. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. This channel could use all the help it could get to grow. So please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. All that's going to help a whole lot. And it's not going to cost a thing. Let's get right back into it. Something you'll get a lot of hate for if you say it out loud. Relationships are only in jeopardy if the woman's not happy. If a man's not happy, he has to deal with that. Usually by himself. Fix it his own way when he has time. If a woman's not happy, might as well say bye. Look, women can't be alone, so they're gonna hold on to you and poison your life while they're looking for someone else. So you need to keep your eyes open. And the minute you see those red flags, you need to dead it and move on. Do not hold on to something that isn't there because that shit will not end well. As long as she's not certain about the next thing, she will stay and be a toxic force in your life. <laughs> she belongs to the streets. My girlfriend dressed up as a policewoman and told me I was under arrest on suspicion of being good in bed. After two, <laughs> after two minutes, all charges were dropped due to lack of evidence. <laughs> okay, I got me. That was humorous. See, my problem is I got holes in my phone that's trying to fuck with me, but I want you. But then again. I might be one of the hoes in your phone, and you want somebody else, and that's what fuck with me. Oh, pause. Yeah, I think it's time to move on. But look, it's the truth. If you're constantly suspicious, constantly lying, you're constantly accusing each other of something, it's time to dead it and move on. Now, it can be a tough decision, but it's going to save you a lot of hurt, a lot of pain, a lot of psychosis in the long run. But look, difficult or not, you got to do it. Face it and move on. Take a lesson from my buddy here. Just a dick. Sit, sit. So I said, I said, hey, what's up? And then she looked at me, looked up, then down, and said, ew, and then went back to her friend. <laughs> and I just went away, drank my beer, and I was like, fucking bitch. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! <laughs> That's it. Don't let him take all the power, make you lose your head just because they got a pair of tits. Lord have mercy. We must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Hey, you with the massive goombas and loose top, front of the line. We got some content to make. Don't, don't get mad at me, A Cups. I don't make the rules. I just work here. So, my lesbian friend and her girlfriend came over today and gave me my early birthday gift. And I don't want to be ungrateful or sound ungrateful, but it's not what I meant when I said I want to watch. <laughs> yeah, boy. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. The Rizzler strikes Hello. again. Hey, excuse me. Um, I don't, I don't normally do this. I just thought you were kind of cute, and I was wondering if I could buy you a uh, coffee. I already have a coffee. Right. Bye, bitch. Yo, 
If you know you're not cheating and they keep accusing you, that's usually them projecting their shit on you. And if that's the case, bye. Next, don't let it get you down. This is yours. You're the captain. You're the master. You're the foreman. You're the general. You're the head. Don't give control of this to nobody.